A and B are independent events. It is further given that the probability of A and B is 0 0.3 and the probability of only B is 0 0.2. And then 12.1.1 says are uh, A and B mutually exclusive? Motivate your answer. Before we solve any problems, we need a Venn diagram, right? A Venn diagram just makes things more extremely easy. So the probability of only B, it is said to be 0 0.2. And then the probability of A and B is say to be 0 0.3. And then the probability of only A, uh, we don't know it, right? So let's just put X here. And the probability of neither A and B, let's just put Y at sort of uh, our circles, right? 12.1.1 uh, says, are A and B mutually exclusive? Motivate your answer. What do we mean when we say two events are mutually exclusive? Two events are mutually exclusive. If they cannot occur at the same time, if you toss a coin, you cannot get tail or head simultaneously, right? So the events of getting head and getting a tail are mutually exclusive because they not, cannot occur at the same time. But then in our instance, the probability of A and B is 0 0.3. Three, so they can occur at the same time, right? So they're not mutually exclusive. So the answer here will be no. And why are we saying no? The probability of A and B is not equals to zero. It is actually equals to 0 0.3. 12.1.2 says, uh, determine the probability of only A. Uh, we have the probability of only B. Uh, probability of A and B and then we're looking for the probability of only A or X on our uh, Venn diagram, right? So from formula, we know that uh, the probability of A and B is equals to the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B. So what is the probability of A and B? It is given to us, right? It's 0 0.3. And this is equals to the probability of A, which we don't know, right? But then after we found the probability of A, we're going to be able to use it to find X, right? Because the probability of A will basically be this 0 0.3 here plus X, right? And then multiply by the probability of B. So let's look at B. The probability of B is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3, right? So we're going to have 0 0.5 here. So the probability of A will be equals to 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.5, which is equals to 0 0.6. So we have the probability of A now. We want the probability of only A. The probability of only A is this X here, right? So we say in basically the probability of A is equals to the probability of only A plus the probability of A and B. You can see it on the diagram here that the probability of A will be the probability of only A plus the probability of A and B. So that will give us uh, 0 0.6 is equals to probability of only A plus uh, 0 0.3. You take 0 0.3 to the other side, uh, you're going to get uh, the probability of only A uh, being equals to uh, 0 0.3. But then after you find the probability of A to be 0 0.6, you can just write your answer because it becomes obvious now that uh, the answer will be 0 0.6 minus 0 0.3, uh, but you can just solve it as well. And then now we want the probability of not A or not B. The probability of not X, right, uh, is basically equals to 1 minus the probability of X, right? So now we're looking from the probability of not A or not B. So this will be equals to 1 minus the probability of A and B, right? In this instance, we're going to have the probability of uh, not A or B or not B uh, being equals to 1 minus probability of A and 
B. We know fully well what the probability of A and B is, right? Is this 0 0.3 here that I'm circling? So we're going to have 1 minus 0 0.3 being equals to 0 0.7. So the probability of not A or not B is 0 0.7, right? It will be the probability, it will be 1 minus the probability of A and B.